since 2016, um, the Northwest region of Cameroon has been experiencing an ongoing armed conflict, which has disrupted a lot of activities, including agriculture. And um, so far, so good. Um, agricultural practices in the region have been greatly tampered and have, I mean, alternated, especially in the villages uh, where the armed conflict is very, very strong, uh, which gave birth to the idea and, of course, the project Performing for Change uh, um, by Noble Arts Entertainment. As project manager, I must confess that it was it was really very challenging to um, realize the project because I mean we are in a conflict region where we have gunshots almost on a daily basis, and also we are targeting a very 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 important but very sensible topic agriculture because I mean we we, we are also looking at the food security uh, challenges of the region. So for us, it was really amazing. Um, the experience was so am uh, uh, I mean so great because we had the opportunity to organize a workshop on the use of arts to combat food insecurity and climate change in the Northwest region where we brought together over 30 young people uh, in the region and also the theater performance that we organized, uh, give the memorial and just to name a few. So we worked with amazing young people, very talented young people and we together contributed our talents to addressing this issue. My name is Angapo Emmanuel, and I was a props and set for Arts into Resilience Theater Performance Show, hashtag Performing for Change by Noble Arts Entertainment. I would like to start by saying thank you to you, Global Resilience Partnership, for the opportunity to address this pressing societal issue that we are facing in our region, which is food insecurity. The, the difficulties we are facing in our region is enormous. We cannot begin to name how many ghost towns we have, dead bodies lying on the streets, gunshots, restricted movement. These are just some of the few challenges I faced as the props and said. But it was it was a great opportunity for me to put into practice my skills of storytelling, which is the props and the said, which is very essential part of storytelling. The challenges I faced was overall getting everything in place for the show to be good, for people to actually enjoy the beauty in the art in what we we're about to, to portray which was getting the props on time because our market with this insecurity in our region is hard to have access to our market because on some days we have ghost towns restricted movement gunshots and you cannot get your props uh, on time so that was that was limiting our production value but at the end of the day it it was it was a good challenge which which we we addressed it well and we embraced it. I am Tata Sunita Bonkar. I interpreted the room gong in the play Burnt. The performance show was about uh, using arts to combat food insecurity and climate change in the Northwest region. Burnt in particular was a story that uh, had to do with climate change, climate variability in the Northwest. Before the event, we had a rehearsals, we even had a workshop, which we had talks from different speakers, teaching us on how to use art, in our case, theater or film, to combat uh, issues in our community. And for this event, we were targeting food insecurity which is coming as a result of climate change, affecting farmers, affecting the whole agricultural sector. 
and we had rehearsals was fun. The biggest challenges we had um, as far as this um, project was concerned was um, at the level of the general organization because uh, I mean we have ghost towns and lockdowns that interrupted the project as well as the, the ban that was imposed by the senior divisional officer from Azam after an incident that happened in the region for bikes, motorbikes, which are actually the main source of transportation and movement in the region to, to stop after 6 p.m. So it was very challenging because, I mean, we wanted to organize the project in such a way that it could extend to uh, some later uh, hours of the evening. But because of that, we had to, to, to definitely adjust the project and adjust the program to make sure that it was within the day. So that also um, challenged us because the hall and the venue of the performance had to, I mean, be adapted to actually look at night, even though it was during the day. And the next challenge we also encountered was the challenge of communication. Uh, internet connection in the, this particular region has a lot of issues and the bandwidth is not that big for people to really browse freely. And also to, to overcome that challenge, we resorted to printing posters we printed um, over 200 posters, we printed stickers that we put in taxis so much that if we could not meet you uh, online, we definitely met you uh, along the streets. So that helped us to reach so many, many young people. And also we incorporated a lot of technological tools to help us like Google Forms for people to sign up and really start for the workshop, for the program. I mean, so the experience was overwhelming and it just goes to amplify, I mean, how important art and resilience can, can coexist and can, of course can help us achieve the sustainable development goals of the United Nations. What I saw, it was more than what I expected. Yes, because the artists, they really performed well. In fact, the guys were great. All of them were great. I saw much more than I expected. Yes, and I'm very, I'm very impressed with the performance of all the artists. We say thank you to you, Global Resilience, for helping us bring the best out of ourselves and address this pressing issue in our society. And we pray that the impact which is already creating, we get more opportunities to do more for our community. Thank you.